Hello and welcome back to another Riff Post video. And in today's video, as you can see here, I have four pedals all connected in a chain, and I'm going to do my best to recreate the soft focus patch that was found on the Yamaha FX500 multi effects processor. So the soft focus patch, that sound, was a very distinct, widely used sound in the 90s for a lot of guitarists on shoegaze albums. Uh, whether live or in the studio, uh, they used, if not the soft focus actual patch on the Yamaha FX500, some combination of the effects that you see right in front of you here. So let's just jump right into what I'm going to be using to recreate this chain. Uh, I've done a little bit of research over time to understand exactly what went into that sound. I'm a lot of trial and error over the years also for myself trying to just re recreate this sound. And um, But this is what sounds like it's the official signal chain that was used on the soft focus patch of the Yamaha FX500. So um, there are these four main modulation effects uh, being reverb here starting on my first uh, effect in the chain is reverb going into a flanger, going into a delay, going into a chorus. Uh, the actual soft focus patch does use two more effects and that is a compressor and EQ, so just dynamics. So I'm not going to be showcasing the compressor, which went in the beginning of the chain, or the EQ, which went, I think, after the reverb in this particular chain. So, but I don't think that really matters. You might get a little bit more sheen on your sound, like it might sound a little bit more shinier. The compressor might help, you know, push everything up to the certain same levels throughout. But I think this sounds just fine. I think you'll be making do with just this setup. Now, also, you do not need to use these same exact uh, pedals that you see here, as long as it's just these effects. So what I have here first is a Catalan Bread Soft Focus Reverb. Catalan Bread uh, took the reverb out of that Soft Focus patch, put it into a stomp box, and you get a really good, accurate sounding reverb that came out of that patch. So obviously I'm going to use this reverb just for now. You use any other reverb you like, but I'm going to use this one. And that's going into an Earthquaker Devices Pyramids Flanger, which is set to the classic mode right here, as you can see. You can set that just like that. And then that goes into a Boss DD8 digital delay. That's set to the standard uh, digital delay mode here on this. And that is going into a Boss Wazacraft chorus. And I have the CE1 mode set on the chorus there. So what I'm going to do is pretty much just keep these pedals mixed as is. Just going to showcase some of the sounds that you get with all four of these combined together, maybe I'll, you know, turn off one here and there or two here and there. And then we can just hear differences and just hear what all different sounds that you can get. Because this was just that really atmospheric kind of um, washed out trailing kind of sound that you would hear that was very distinct on a lot of shoegaze uh, guitars. But I think that's still used today even. You don't have to use shoegaze with this combination, but... Just for the sake of this video, we're kind of just going to focus on cleans and all that. I think that would be a good future video, actually, now that I say that, with distortion or fuzz or something in the future, because that was used with these effects as well. But we'll just keep it to this for now. So, yeah, with that being said, let's have some fun. <laughs> 